Amadilidium vulgare, commonly known as the slater or pillbug, is a terrestrial crustacean. Their main habitat is under mulch, fallen leaves and debris, or as filmed here, under rocks. As a detrivore, this is the perfect place for the organism to locate dead plant material to feed on. At only 8.5 to 18 millimetres long, this species is potential prey for many animals. In response, it has evolved an interesting behavioural trait. It curls into a tight ball as a defence. This protects their vulnerable underside, leaving only their armoured dorsal surface exposed. The problem with this particular behaviour is that when they unfurl, they are left vulnerable to both predation and desiccation with their ventral side exposed. However, they have a solution. They recurl slightly and twist their bodies laterally. This shifts them from their back to their side, which allows their legs to reach the ground and flip themselves upright. However, this leads to a more fundamental problem. How did the curling behavior evolve if it is only useful in conjunction with another trait, namely the ability for the pill bug to right itself? In isolation, the conglobation would only lead to an immobile, vulnerable, upside down slater unable to survive. This would mean curling was disadvantageous and should not have evolved. Fortunately, there is a potential answer to this conundrum. It's quite likely that pill bugs first evolved the ability to right themselves in the event they tipped upside down or were flipped by predators. The lateral twisting and partial curling involved in righting themselves could subsequently have been evolutionarily co-opted into complete conglobation as a defense mechanism protecting their ventral surface. Questions remain about this evolutionary pathway. In particular, the primary driving force behind the writing behaviour remains unknown. It may have been a defence against predators, such as this noisy miner, known to eat invertebrates like slaters. Additionally, it could have been to protect their undersides from desiccation. It might be a combination of both factors, but further studies would be necessary to separate the effects of these influences.